Here we have our Kingston HyperX Beast memory. Uh, so these are DDR3 modules. Now you can see that the modules themselves actually have a notching and or essentially are keyed for a specific configuration and layout. So you just want to make sure and take note of that. If you take a look at the motherboard itself, the motherboard also has corresponding notching. Uh, so if you go ahead and essentially line it up as so, you'll be able to verify and see that the notching uh, essentially aligns with uh, the, the DRAM. So that's very easy. It allows you to make sure that you don't want to put in the memory backwards, um, which you can kind of rest it in in that way, but you'll notice that when you go ahead and attempt to fully depress and push in on the retention clip, it won't fully rest in place. So you just want to make sure to double check those two items. Now, they're also going to find that uh, the motherboard features four slots for memory. They're all color coded for each corresponding bank as the motherboard does feature what's called dual channel enabled memory. To enable dual channel, you have to have two sets of DIMMs paired in the corresponding channels. Now we're using four DIMMs, so that's really not necessarily something that we have to worry about. Now, if you're realizing only two DIMMs though, you would generally want to reference the manual. The manual will dictate to you which banks are the preferred or the priority banks. Um, so just keep that in mind. So next up, let's go ahead and actually align our memory. All right, we've gone ahead and press that one in there. We're good to go. We can see that the actual retention clip has gone ahead and settled into place. The other side auto locks because it's our QDIM technology. Okay, that one's locked into place. Got another one here. And that one has locked into place. And if you notice, I'm not pushing down just on one side. I'm actually trying to equally uh, press down on both the front and the back. And then from there, we're good to go. So I can double check, make sure, just apply a little bit of pressure, make sure that they're fully rested in there. Give it one more press down, and we have now successfully installed our Kingston HyperX Beast memory. We have dual channel enabled. So that shows you how to install the memory on the motherboard.